Here it is, gang, the RSS Formula Hybrid 2022 for Assetto Corsa. So we've got the car, as per my previous video, we've got the skins, but can we actually simulate the performance of the current drivers and teams over a race weekend? Well, stick around, I'm gonna show you a way it can be done via a uh, custom grid in Assetto Corsa Content Manager. Links and uh, timestamps are in the description, so um, if you can, drop us a sub and a comment, and let's get into it. So a bit of housekeeping just to start off. You're gonna need a few things. Assetto Corsa, Content Manager, the RSS Formula Hybrid 2022, and the skins that were linked in uh, my previous video. So today what we're going to do to build this grid is base it around my choice of car or driver. You'll need to do the same for yours. So in this case, we're gonna go with Verstappen, um, which is actually, as you'll see here, one of the Formula Hybrid 2022 S skins. So if you look at the spread of them, the two Ferraris are actually on the Hybrid 2022 and the other 18 cars are on the S. That's important now as we go to build that grid. So as I say, we're the Verstappen skin. At the moment, there's only the one opponent. What we're gonna do now is choose a custom grid and start to build this grid up car by car. So if we jump on up to the top right, there we go. So we can now start to add the cars. So if we jump to the hybrid 2022, recall there was two Ferraris, so we add two of those. Opponent count is now up to three. We need to get that opponent count up to 19 if you subtract our car. So the rest of these will now just be the 2022 S. Add away till we see the 19. There we go. There's us. There's the rest. So into the detailed settings. A little bit of housekeeping just to shuffle the order here, but essentially what we've got is the rest of the grid, the skins, driver names, and then we'll play around with the strength and ballast in a minute. So if the skins are installed correctly, you will find them in these drop downs. We've done the first two Ferraris. Now we'll just go through quickly, do all the S's, fix up a couple of naming errors, either missing ones or capitals, manually add nationalities, and now we can get into the strength and ballast. So for strength, I've done a bit of playing around with this, tried to use the official sort of power rankings if you like, but the short story is if you have too much variation in numbers, you just end up with too much distance disparity if you like in, in the performance and the, the lap times. So I've tried to keep them pretty close, but as you see, the, the top drivers are 100, the rest just vary beneath that. Um, the thing you now offset that with is the ballast. So again, assuming at this point, or at least for this grid, that the Red Bull is the strongest car, that may not actually be the case for the rest of the season, but it, if it is the strongest here, ballast is zero. Everybody else will have progressively more ballast to just try and make sure the grid actually does sort of assemble, you know, somewhat realistically. So that's that. We'll whack a quick save, add your own file name, and then you've got that there as a preset that you can call on for any of your sessions. So now we'll jump in and have a look what it looks like in the game. And there we have it. So obviously minus max, because I'm there as Rusty Brush. There is the rest of the current F1 2022 grid and nationalities in a five minute quali. So we'll jump out for a lap ourselves and just sort of see where the rest of the field land also. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll start to see roughly what it will do. There's still gonna be the odd outlier. It's it's AI, it does silly things. I think in a short session too, they, they can sort of run into each other and affect their lap time a smidge. But generally speaking, the right sort of cars and drivers are toward the front and the others at the rear. So jump now into the race grid proper, off we go. And uh, again, nice to see all those skins across that field as you look downhill at the Red Bull ring. So we'll stick with this for just the one lap, but you can already see that difference in driver strength and ballast sort of playing out and having those right teams up the front.
And there we are. So that's the end of a five lap race at least. Um, and you can see there, look, not perfect, but generally speaking, you've got the right kinds of teams and the sort of stronger drivers toward the front of the field. More tweaking to do, but as you saw there, you can play around with the strength and with the ballast and just see what actually, yeah, what that does affect. So feel free to have a tinker yourselves and um, please do yeah, drop your settings in the comments if you find some, uh, some ones that work better for you. But thank you for watching. Really appreciate it, guys, and um, see you on the next one.